The stage is set for one play many directors don't usually like to touch. The very engaging and compelling tale of struggle and freedom, Animal Farm. Shout as much as you want and piss off me all your life. What more can you take from me? At least down here, I am gone. Since it's a gloomy tale, the stage lights are dark with other effects to embellish the production like costumes, makeup, props, sound effects and the acting technique to really drive this fable message home. My brother and sister and mother, you have all heard about the strange dreams that I had last night, but I'll come to the dream later. I have something else to I do not think, comrade, that I'll be with you for many months longer. And before I die, I feel it my duty to pass on to you such wisdom as I have acquired. I have lived a long life. I have had much time for thought as I lay alone in my stall. And I think, as they say, I understand the nature of life on this earth as well as any animal now lives. Character is a character. Whether it's an animal or it's not an animal, you have um, a variety of, of requirements to fulfill to play a, a character, full stop. If that character has animalistic tendencies, that could even be a human being. So that wasn't so much a difficulty for the actors. Um, what was more interesting was actually finding the actors in the first place, you know. I had a very short period of time to find this wonderful group of people, um, and I've been very lucky. But Directed by Nicolas Mornu and adapted for the Nigerian stage, he touches up the play to reflect the realities in our society. There's a narrator who takes the audience through the storyline. Snowball, Squiller, Napoleon, Boxer lead a revolution and become the instrument for change and set rules for the animals to follow. Repeat after me. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes upon four legs or half wings is a friend. Whatever goes upon four legs or half wings is a friend. The pigs take charge and reap the dividends of being leaders, but in their midst, envy and ambition begins to brew. Snowball is kicked out. Napoleon and Squiller, his spokesmen, take over and execute all the ideas that originated from Snowball. From now on, now me and a committee of pigs will get free. Now he will undertake decisions for all of us. From the first moment of our farm. We need to have people who are not corrupted by power because absolute power corrupts absolutely. They also begin to enjoy the luxuries that life as a human presents. Suddenly, the rules begin to change. Mr. Jones, the owner of the farm, returns to reclaim his land, but he meets fierce resistance by the animals. The vicious circle continues and another revolution begins at the end.